of what you're worried about. It's only the dentist. Oh. It's me brother. He's a little bit nervous. Come in. Sit down, you big baby. Yes, but... but, but... You'll be fine. Mr Chuckle, the dentist is ready for you now. There you are. <laughs> gotcha. Take a seat. Shouldn't you wash your hands? Probably right. Hygiene's all important. <laughs> Maybe you should wear some gloves. No need. Central eating's on. Not in your seat. Yet. Well. <laughs> now tell me, do you suffer from any pain in your teeth? <laughs> no. Good. You won't need any anaesthetic then. Huh? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, nothing to worry about this, sir. Oh. Just a little X-ray. Oh. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Just my little joke. <laughs> oh dear, just as I thought. Oh, the x-ray machine's not working. <laughs> Tell me, how do you feel about extinction? Hey! <laughs> Sorry, slip of the tongue, extraction. Oh. Open your mouth, will you? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> got him. There. Now then, open up, let's have a look. Uh, shouldn't you use your mirror? Good idea. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh dear. Oh. 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 I'm sorry about that. Uh, I can see him, though. Oh. He's hanging on that waggly thing at the back of your throat. Oh. Don't worry, I'll get him out. As long as you don't <laughs> swallow. Oh, now look what you've done. Oh. Not to worry. Probably won't do any harm. No? No. No? Mind you, I'll try something. I'll get him. What? Yes. Open up. Oh, there you are. Oh. Just oh. turn the power up. Oh! Stop it, stop! No, it's all right. Oh, can you? I'll get him. Can you? Don't worry. Oh, can I? Come here. Oh! Come here. Oh! Come here. Oh! Come here. Call yourself a dentist? Orthodontist, actually. I've got diplomas. And I've got the fly. Stop panicking. All I've got to say about that is... <laughs> I should think so, too. Some people have got no manners. <laughs> I think I know what it is. Nothing to worry about. Lots of people swallow flies. Not one that goes... <laughs> what kind of fly does that? I knew I'd read about it somewhere. Here it is. Apparently, a few years ago, an old lady suffered with the same problem. Oh, dear. What? Well, it seems like it wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. Then... Go on. She swallowed a spider to catch the fly. Hang on a minute. You got that book out the nursery rhyme section. Well, now you come to mention it, yes. But then again, all those old nursery rhymes are based on true fact. Now, where could I find a spider? Hang on a minute. If I remember correctly, she ended up swallowing a horse. There's no way I'm swallowing a horse. Yeah, but we could go as far as you're swallowing the dog to catch a cat. Forget it. No, 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 I'm only joking. I know what we can do. If it involves me and anything to do with swallowing animals of various sizes, you needn't bother. Ah, well, it isn't. We'll go and see an expert. Who? Professor Montgomery Flitcroft, world-famous entomologist. Dan swears by him. He'll know what to do. He knows what to do about a lot of things. Where do we find him? The University of Tropical Insects. How do you know the fly's tropical? It buzzes with a foreign accent. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Is it? Yes. Fascinating. Do you hear that, Barry? The professor thinks you're fascinating. Really? What do you think it is? 
Well, what we have there is a Nicaraguan firefly. Well, what can you do about it? I'm not sure. It's not something I come across every day. Uh, uh, there is one thing we could try. What's that? Well, I seem to remember something about an old lady and a spider. Ah. No way, we've been through that already. Well, in that case, all I suggest is that you leave it alone. Hey? And think yourself lucky it isn't a female. Why? Oh, you don't want to worry about things like that. I know I don't, but I can't help it. Well, if it was a female, it would probably have laid an egg by now. An egg? Relax. You're only talking about a little tiny fly egg. Isn't that right, Doctor? to worry about. Anyway, the chance of it laying an egg are about 50 million to one. That's 50 million to one too many, thank you. Can you get it out, Doctor? No need. I think it'd be safe to say that everything will be back to normal in a day or so. Uh, Doctor, wait. Hmm? Can't you give me anything to take? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, God. There we are. He wasn't much help. Shh, I'm reading. Fascinating. According to this, the Nicaraguan firefly is famous for the brightness of its glow. Really? Hmm. You sure this is the right way? Of course I am. It's a cupboard. Just let me find the light switch. Do you know, I'm really quite tired. Oh. Hey, hey, do that again. What, this? Oh. Brilliant. We'll save a fortune on electricity bills. Paul, I'm really tired. OK, OK. I've only got another 232 chapters to go. Uh... Hey, just a minute. I've just an idea how I can get that firefly out of you. On second thoughts, can you read another couple of chapters first? No. Nope. Fizzy pop. Drink enough of it and you might burp it out. Mm. First thing in the morning, it's back to that professor and get that fly out. Either that or I'll fit in with a lampshade. Paul? 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 What? what? You know you said the odds of that fly laying an egg were 50 million to one? Mm. How lucky can you get? It's my stomach, Doctor. It keeps getting bigger. Oh, good heavens, I hadn't noticed. What are we going to do? Well, the only way a thing like this could have happened is if the person concerned had aggravated the egg by drinking fizzy pop. Is that so? He hasn't, has he? Uh, no. We better get him to crash. I think he's already there. Well, how are we feeling now? Swell. Well, you won't be needing the drip. Oh, you can go then, Paul. Professor, could I have a word, please? If if Barry had inadvertently drunk some fizzy pop, what would happen? Well, I rang a colleague of mine in Nicaragua. He sends his best, by the way. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, yes, but what did he say? Well, apparently the egg would fill with gas and simply keep growing like an enormous balloon. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> it's all right. There's no real cause for alarm. Just as long as he doesn't roll over onto his stomach. What would happen? <laughs> that.
Mr. Chuckle, the dentist is ready for you now. Barry! 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 Barry, come on! Wake up! Don't forget, you've got the dentist today! <laughs> the script before I got down and did it. That's it. Now you come to mention it, yes. But then again, all old nursery rhymes are baked on, baked, baked, baked on. If I remember correctly, <laughs> collect, you're smiling at me. Collectly, you said collect. Collectory. Old nursery rhymes always come from somewhere in true fact, somewhere along the line. If you understand what I'm talking about. I don't understand the word. You see, everything's... Do you understand what he's saying? Yes, because, because I got the script wrong. <laughs> 